What's up everyone, Dabblade here with a quick tip video for Monster Hunter World. In this video we're going to be demonstrating how to get the Geralt and Ciri layered armor from the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This is all thanks to the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt crossover event with Monster Hunter World. Now in order to get the layered armor you have to contend with the new monster, the Ancient Leshen, found in the event quest Contract Woodland Spirit. This is a 9 star high rank quest that requires hunters to be under rank 50 or higher. This is also a quest that is strongly recommended to go in with a team as the Ancient Leshen is definitely a tough monster. But defeating the Ancient Leshen is not enough to actually get the layered armor. You actually have to loot a specific item. The item is the Mutagen which will be familiar to any Witcher fan. Now there are a few ways to get the Mutagen. One you can break monster parts which means that potentially the Mutagen will be found in the rewards at the end of the quest. You can either find it whilst carving up the monster at the end of the hunt or you can potentially have your palico find it when it's using a plunder blade. Regardless of how you get it though this is not a common item. You're not going to find it necessarily on your first hunt unless you're incredibly lucky. It took me about a day and a half of solid farming of this monster to actually get it to drop for me. But luckily I got two in one hunt which was great. This is because after you actually get your hands on the mutagen you go up to the workshop and the blacksmith will give you the requirements needed to craft the Geralt and Ciri layered armor and they take a mutagen each so you're going to need two mutagens in order to get both Geralt and Ciri's layered armor. After you have them go down to the resource center talk to the folks there and you should be able to craft the layered armors under complete deliveries. Afterwards you can put on the layered armor like you would any other layered armor. However these are complete layered armors so you cannot mix and match. Now the ancient legend fight is not easy whatsoever. Like I said it's better done in a group and I found it best for at least one person to be playing a support role keeping an eye on your team's health bars and healing them when they're in need. But if you're not able to get a team you can still farm for the mutagen. This is all thanks to the plunder blade, the trusty palico gadget. So if you don't have a group of players to play with and you still want to farm for the mutagen just kit out your palico with the plunder blade and send him after the ancient tree every now and again. Hopefully fingers crossed he'll come back with the mutagen although you won't fully know if you've got it until you actually back out of the quest. So once you're bored and fed up or you've died enough times just simply go to leave quest and hope the gods favour you. Lastly before I go you can get the mutagen as well through failing a quest so long as you've broken a part or two on the ancient lesson. So even if you can't get the quest done there's still a chance you may be rewarded with the mutagen needed for the layered armor. But anyway I wish you luck in your farming and I hope this video helps and until next time I've been Darkblade bringing you a quick tip guide to how to get the Geralt and Ciri layered armor in Monster Hunter World. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.